Welcome back to my Mental Health and Crime channel. My name is Huda London. This is for entertainment purpose only. I just wanted to show you all something I came across. If you remember the Linda Lane footage, you hear clearly a woman, a female yelling, stop, please stop. And I just played it. And at 2.54 and 23 seconds, you will hear a female yelling, stop, please stop, from the undercover police camera. Both the officers, and that is something Chris McDonough has pointed out in the beginning of the case. What is the chances of it being a coincidence that we hear stop, please stop, on the two body cams of the undercover police in the Banfield stop with Saeed and the three other guys, and allegedly we hear stop, please stop on the Linda Lane footage. I don't think that can be a coincidence. And let's not forget, Stop Please Stop was two minutes after Kaylee and Maddie called Jack D. Lost. So is it the same Stop Please Stop that we hear on the body cam videos? Is it the same one that is going on in Linda Lane footage over there at Taylor Avenue? Hey guys, Moscow PD. Sit over here, talk to me. Moscow PD. Hey, is that beer? Is that beer in here? Yeah, I'm 21. You got any ID on me? Uh, no. I'll take you back to my apartment if you need it. Okay. Sorry. Huh? No, we just took off. I told him to stop it. I'm not going to push it. You have your ID on me? I don't. Okay. I'm going to grab your info just because you got beer in your walk around. timeline what was the last what time was the last call do you remember two two fifty two at two fifty two okay this is the interview room this channel please like share and subscribe to chris mcdonough and karen is the same de former detective and the detective of nation he's the same person who found the glove Outside the house, that's one of the three unidentified male DNAs that Ann Taylor has been pleading with the court and the prosecution to hand over the evidence. So the question he asks is Karen, his wife, is what was the timing that Kaylee and Maddie called Jack. If you remember, Kaylee called Jack 10 times and Maddie together, 2.52, Maddie and Kaylee called Jack. Kaylee calls Jack ten seven times from her phone and Maddie calls Jack three times from a phone. And then at 2.55 and 16 seconds is, is when I believe you hear the stop it, stop, somebody saying. But it could be somebody in the Sigma Chi fraternity near those areas, maybe some people walking to the walking to a party or coming from a party 
but the police have not explained that to us. And since they released the sporty cam, it is kind of interesting to know if they have figured it out themselves. So this is the time 2.55 and 16 seconds when we hear stop it, stop, a female yelling from the undercover officer's his camera. The audio, audio caught it. And then we hear something that says, stop it, please stop, at the Linda Lane footage. Although many people are saying that's a fake footage, I don't think that's actually exactly a fake footage. Because I'll show you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That one is a little clearer. Stop it. Stop. I'm going to play it again. Listen. 19. 19. Okay. Okay. There is 21. Karen, what do you think? Hear it. Um, you can definitely clearly hear it, hear it from that officer's body cam. My question is, it's going to be an obvious question. Were there other students or young people in that field far away where it got picked up, right? I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at this, um, where else could that, those screams have been? So it's 2.55 and 16 seconds that we hear it in the audio of the undercover police. Both the undercover's camera audio catches Stop it, stop. One is more clearer than the other. And that was in the band field. And then in Linda Lane, we uh, stop it, please stop. Allegedly, the Linda Lane footage is one that there's a lot of dispute about. But I'm starting to wonder if the Linda Lane footage is actually correct. Because... If the timeline, if the Linda Lane footage says stop it, stop or stop it, please stop at 2.55 and 16 seconds, that means it is the same one that was heard from the undercover detectives. Both of their undercover cops is audio. The body cams, one was clear, more clearer than the other. And that was at 2.55. Maddie his phone was last called from to Jack D at 2.52 and a couple of seconds. Something happened around this timing. That's why I believe the timeline of the quadruples was from 2.54, 2.52 in the morning up to 3.17, 3.20. That's what I've always said because the figures running are 3.12, 3.16, I believe. Then you hear stop it, stop at 2.55. The last call made to Jack D was at 2.52. So... If you check from 2.52 up to 3.17 is when I believe something happened to Kaylee and Maddie. May they rest in peace. Zan and Eaton, I believe something happened around 2 to 2.20. Because you can see the people in the grub truck calling out Zana's name. And we heard Eaton, his mother, saying 2 a.m. is the most difficult time for their family. The family did a private autopsy too. I wonder why. Is it because they didn't trust the complete results from the police? Of times. Do you have any lessons? I don't have it. No, uh, in general. Also, birthday. Yeah, lucky birthday. Uh, yeah, do you have any lessons? I don't have it. 
No, uh, in general. Also, what if they, uh, left you right there? Uh, you have driver's license? I don't have it. What? No, uh. Okay. Oops, where did it go? Yeah, uh, uh, left you right there. Uh, yeah. Okay, at 0255-16, you can hear, and, oh, this is another part. If you have headsets, put your headsets on or put your earbuds in. Okay, we're going to take a second here. Put your headsets and your earbuds on. Okay. At 0 to 55 and 16 seconds. And I did a bunch of replays here. And this microphone is facing the house on that body camera. Okay? Tell me what you hear. I don't have it. No, uh, in general. Awesome birthday. Yeah, lucky me. I've listened to this thing a thousand times. I'm going to submit to you. Somebody is saying, stop. Now, who that is, I have no idea. But as an investigator, if I was on this case, I would say, what am I hearing here? And isolate this audio. Okay? Very carefully. Listen to it again on replay. Uh, you have driver's license? I don't have it. No, uh, in general. Also, birthday. Yeah, lucky birthday. Uh, you have driver's license? I don't have it. No, uh, in general. Also, birthday. Yeah, lucky birthday. Uh, you have driver's license? I don't have it. Okay, now this one is the other officer who is writing a ticket, and it's a little bit further up at about 312.45, where I saw some things where people were saying, yeah, there's somebody else yelling in that. I don't think so. I think it's the officer ripping his ticket and handing it to the individual. I blurred them out because they're all juveniles. Okay. So you're going to just hear a click, and that is not somebody in the background, okay. i.e. a person. It is a ticket book. Right there. 16. And this is what I think I hear. Yeah. 19. 19. Yeah. Okay. That one is a little clearer. Stop it. Stop. I'm going to play it again. Listen. 19. 19. Okay. Is there 21? Karen, what do you think? So was this the same timeline at 2.55 and 16 seconds on, on Linda Lane footage? Stop it, stop. I believe it was. So something happened to Maddie and Kaylee at 2.55 and 16 seconds. So I don't think the Linda Lane footage is too far-fetched. Something was happening outside. And this microphone is facing the house on that body camera. Okay? Tell me what you hear. Yeah, driver license? I don't have it. What? No, uh, in general. Also, birthday. Yeah, lucky birthday. I would say, what am I hearing here? And isolate this audio. Okay? Very carefully. Listen to it again on replay. Uh, you have driver license? I don't have it. What? No, uh, in general. Also, birthday. Yeah, lucky birthday. Uh, you have driver license? I don't have it. What? No, uh, in general. Also, birthday. Yeah, lucky birthday. Uh, you have driver license? I don't have it. Okay, now this one. 19. 19. Yeah. Okay, there is. That one is a little clearer. Stop it. Stop. I'm going to play it again. Listen. 19. 19. Yeah. 
Let me know in the comment channel if you agree with me or what you think. I haven't gone thoroughly into the Linda Lane footage and I haven't hardly covered that on my channel. But I've covered this one stop it stop at 2.55. Let's not forget the girls called Jack D last at 2.52. So this was like two minutes, two and a half minutes after the girls called Jack D. And this is the same thing we hear in Linda Lane footage. So something definitely happened to Kaylee and Maddie between 2.52 to 3.17, I would say. You see the five figures or four figures running. You see the Banfield stop. Maddie's jacket was found around here. What was happening in Taylor Avenue? In Linda Lane, the Banfield, and Kings Road, and Sigma Chi. Something was happening between those areas. I don't even believe the white car belonged to Brian Koberger. There was a white car park on the right hand side, a bit older model of a white car, older Sierra. And you can see a white car there in the parking place too. I wonder how many white cars were parked around those areas that night. Were the girls taken up to one of the flats in Taylor Avenue or Linda Lane? Something doesn't make sense. And it still interests me. This SUV or this black truck, sorry, not SUV, this black truck. We've seen pictures of Dylan with this black truck. And her boyfriend, Quinn Kelly, was there that night. This was at 3.01 a.m. at night, when the Banfield stop was going. Was Dylan driving it, or was her boyfriend, Quinn Kelly, driving it? Was this the same truck that... Inan Harsh allegedly saw. I heard it belongs to Dylan's mother allegedly and I heard her boyfriend drives it. I really don't understand what is going on but it starts making me wonder if Dylan was driving this truck and if she left the house in front of a house she saw something and she left in a hurry. Did she leave the front door open? Could that be possible? And then we had the Red Moose song in St. Deacon's Avenue that was crashed. And you can see the forensic team investigating it inside and outside. We saw John Jack Walter at the grub truck hopping into a Red Moose song. Are all these things connected? They can't just be coincidence. That is Said and the police officer. These are the figures. Who are these figures? Were the were they people from the Sigma fraternity or other fraternities? Was the police searching for that white see ever there? They were seen around that area. You see the police's one on the left one, the silver one, and you see that white car. You can see the white car there. And you can says, see someone inside this car. Someone sent this me sent me this picture a while ago. You can see Sigma Kai there, and you can see two figures in, near the car, near this white car. Somebody has on something that looks like a helmet. This red light you see on the right hand side is the police body cam. Then you can see the white Sierra in front. If you look at the left you can see something that looks like Murphy, a figure of Murphy and you can see a figure of someone sitting down. 
if you look at the two arrows, that I take with the grain of salt, there is actually something there, but this part I can't really confirm, but the stop it stop of someone yelling was on the undercover police body cam. But that definitely looks like a dog. And that looks like someone sitting near the dog. So a lot was happening behind the bushes. The police made these three boys stand here. I wonder where Jack D was when he went home. He said he went to sleep. I really wonder where he was. And what is the alibi of Adam too? Somebody asked me if that is Chief Fry actually. <laughs> the one in the middle, but I don't think so. You have Jack Showalter standing underneath here. Isn't it strange and weird that after Kaylee and Maddie called Jack D, something happened? I don't find that to be a coincidence. And I really want to know where Hunter was at. We heard next day, after eight hours, the surviving roommates called Hunter, allegedly. We heard... Eaton, his brother Hunter, was called too. But this Hunter, it wasn't said where Hunter Johnson was called from. Was he at the Sigma Chi? Was he sleeping in the basement? He seemed to spend an awful time, a lot of time, in King's Road. And look at him smiling. This is the memorial of Eaton. He's talking about Eaton and Zana. Something is just not right with all these surviving roommates, Hunter, half of the Sigma Chi, Sigma Chi boys, the fraternity boys, the sororities, the grub truck, Jack Walter, Jack D. All of them know something. Even if they were not involved, they know something. Whether... The victims were tied up allegedly or whether they were not or whether they were hijacked half of the way, for, half of the journey home or if somebody was waiting for them inside the house, something is really odd. And I don't believe Brian Christopher Koberger did this. And if he did it, he didn't do it by himself. I don't believe that at all. Please like, share and subscribe. Have a lovely evening.